What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and man am I still in shock from yesterday's reveal and I'll tell you straight up, don't go anywhere because we've got tons of content planned for you guys, like that isn't an exaggeration at all, I literally have 15 other videos planned for you guys and in all seriousness, stay tuned, there's going to be a lot in the next coming weeks here but today we're going to be talking about the co-op but before we get too far into that, let's aim for 100 likes on this video here today, you guys have been smashing that recently so you guys are amazing, keep that up but back on topic, co-op, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably are going to be like, why? Because with so much information about multiplayer and nothing being said about co-op yesterday, what are we really doing talking about this now? Well, because yesterday and today, I'm pretty sure that we got huge hints as to our co-op mode, both in type and backstory. What am I talking about? Well, today we got released to us an Advanced Warfare version of the Xbox One available in November, which honestly looks pretty sweet and I myself am tempted to pick one up. But in terms of hints, we get one giant one on the controller to the right of the right thumbstick and under the buttons. What is that? Well, that's tick markers indicating rounds. Anyone who has played zombies can recognize this because it's commonplace for us in that fandom. So, am I saying zombies is going to be in advanced warfare? Not quite, even though I'm pretty sure you'll end up hearing a lot of people babble on about how zombies will be in advanced warfare today in your sub boxes if you're sub to any other Call of Duty guys. While there are reminiscent portions of Black Ops 2 in the game, such as the Pick 13 class system, which, by the way, we'll talk about soon, but I'm a firm believer in the fact that we're going to have something new in advanced warfare for our co-op mode so that leads me into the next segment here because we just talked about what type of game mode it is that being a round based horde mode which I'm extremely happy about if these hints are real things but what kind of things could we see ourselves going up against because zombies and aliens have already been done and will be returning in future titles from their respective studios so what's even left on the table my thinking is cyborgs and it's always been that since the introduction of so much technology and that may in fact be what we're getting while not confirmed by any means the map that we saw gameplay footage of on Biolab, it has a ton of little eerie secrets about it that can help us think about what this mode may be. And before we go any further, I'd like to say for the record, I wish that I could say that this was my own findings. Big ups to the guys that play the game central. They did an astounding job with this. So that is where these little hints came from and got to me by. So, but anyway, Biolab takes place at a STEM bionics lab. And right off the bat, bionics in an applicable use is the fusion of technology, more specifically robotics, and that implementation of it into daily life of most people, notably for replacements of limbs or something similar for those that need it. So we're working with technology on people and we'll get into that more in a second. Though we don't get too much more than a quick glance, the pinups of the human body and skeleton serve to me as a quick guide that this is actually a place where humans are the main focus, not like a test facility where rats or some other smaller animal would be a main focus. Next we've got different locations on the doors that will serve as a guide around the facility, those being surrogate staging, surrogate regen, and decontamination. Now the word surrogate means replacement and that's term can be used in many different ways in various applications in real life, but bionics and surrogate technology continually remind me of cyborgs, replacing a body part with a mechanical or robotic one. And from our E3 demo, we know for a fact that Mitchell loses his arm, so he's going to be getting a bionic one for the rest of the campaign. While multiplayer maps are built on the campaign and background, this theory of mine still could be valid in my mind because of the next image that I'll show you right now. That right there is a body in a giant test tube. This is the stereotypical test tube chamber from so many sci-fi movies. And with all this adding together, and not to mention that about a month ago, Michael Condry tweeted out an article about the dangers of robotic fusion with humans. I just think we're really close to hitting the nail on the head with this one. Like I said, none of this is confirmed in any way, shape, or form. So don't take it like this is going to be the complete co-op mode right here. Your guess is as good as mine, but my guess for the time being is cyborgs or some sort of mutated robot experiment with humans actually going down. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that we're onto something here with all these little hints that we've gotten so far, or do you think that it's just absolutely nothing? Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. If you did like the video, please leave a like right down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you would like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Like I said, I got tons of content coming for you guys, so be sure to stay around for that. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, if you guys have a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Right, <laughs>